Welcome to Stories in Art. My name is Sheila Wee, and I'd like to introduce you to this painting by Abdullah Surya Subroto, an Indonesian painter who was born in Indonesia around 125 years ago. He wasn't going to be a painter. His father was a doctor, and so he trained in medicine, first in Indonesia and then in Holland. But while he was in Holland, he changed his mind and instead he went to art school and became a painter. And when he came home to Indonesia, he painted many beautiful paintings of the Indonesian countryside. And this is one of them. When I first saw this painting, my eyes were drawn straight away to the beautiful sunset. It looked so real. And then, I saw the houses, the simple village houses on stilts, and the pond in the middle of the painting. Later, I looked closer, and I saw what looked like paddy fields, rice fields in the distance, and beyond them, forests. And were those mountains? I wondered what it would be like to live in a simple village house, like one of these, a house on stilts. Do you know why the houses were built on stilts? Well, there were a few reasons. Firstly, because it kept them safe from floods. It also made the house much cooler because the air went underneath. And also because of termites, white ants. If you build your wooden house straight on the ground, the termites will come up and nibble, 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 eat away at the wood. But they built their houses on stilts, on special wooden poles made from wood that termites, white ants, don't like to eat. And that reminds me of a story, a story about a family of white ants. Long ago, in the Indonesian rainforest, oh, there were so many trees. And in amongst the top branches, there were monkeys. <laughs> and oh, there were birds flying through the leaves. And on the forest floor, there were more animals. There was tiny, but very clever, mouse deer. And big, fierce tiger. But there were more animals living under the forest. There was a very big family of white ants, termites. And they lived in tunnels that went down, 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 and out, out, out. There were thousands of them. And Mama Ant, she was the head of the family, and she took very good care of her thousands of children and hundreds and hundreds of baby ants. And they lived very happily in their home underneath the forest. But then, one day, it started to rain. It rained for one day, two days, three days, four whole days. And Mama Ant was sitting in her tunnel when, whoop, whoop, oh no, the forest had become flooded and the water was going underground into their home. Mama Ant knew that they were in great danger. And so she called to all her children. She said, everybody up, everybody out. And all those white ants, they scrambled and scrambled and scrambled and scrambled until they reached the surface. But there was water, and so they had to scramble some more. But then there they were, on the surface of the water, trying to keep afloat. But tell me, do you think white ants can swim? Not very well. And they started going under the water. But Mama Ant, she said, look, look, you see those leaves that are floating on the water? Climb onto them. You see those twigs that are floating onto the water? Hold onto them tight. And so all the white ants climbed onto the floating leaves. They held onto the floating twigs. And Mama Ant, she looked around. Oh, I hope they're safe. 
and she started to count her family. One, two, three, four, five, 74, 75, 76, 324, 325, 327, 5,221, 5,222, 6,998, 99, 7,000. They are all safe. Wow. They were safe for the moment, but there was a problem. You see, all this happened in the middle of the afternoon. And you remember those hundreds and hundreds of baby ants? What do babies do in the middle of the afternoon? That's right. They take naps. They go to sleep. And those babies have been scrambling and they were so tired that their eyes grew heavier. And soon they were splash into the water. And the other ants had to pull them out. And then another one went splash. And that one had to be pulled out. And soon it was splash, pull, splash, pull, splash, pull. Oh, can you help me save the baby ants, please? Splash, pull, splash, pull, splash, pull. Mama Ant realized that she would have to find somewhere safer. And just at that moment, they floated by a magnificent tembusu tree. Oh. Mr. Tembusu Tree, said Mama Ant, please, can we climb up into your branches just until the water goes down? Now, what do you think the Tembusu Tree said? Did he say yes or no? Well, the Tembusu Tree looked down and said, I know you. You are white ants. You eat wood. I am a tree. I am made of wood. You will nibble, nibble, nibble at my branches and munch, munch, munch at my trunk. No, 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 go. And so they had to go. They floated on and they floated on and those babies were so sleepy they kept falling in the water. Splash, pull, splash, pull, help, please. Splash, pull, splash, pull, splash, pull, splash, pull. Oh, said Mama Ant, I'm too old for this. Oh dear. But just then, they passed by a beautiful Soraya tree. Oh, oh, Miss Soraya tree, said Mama Ant. Please, can we climb up into your branches just until the water goes down? We promise we won't eat you. What do you think the Soraya tree said? Yes? No? Well, the Soraya tree looked down and said, Oh, oh, you are white ants. Oh, 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 you eat wood. I am a tree. I am made of wood. You will nibble, nibble, nibble at my branches and munch, munch, munch at my trunk. No, 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 go. And so they had to go. And they floated on and they floated on and those babies kept falling asleep and falling in the water. Splash, pull, splash, pull. Please help save the babies. Splash, pull, splash, pull, splash, pull, splash, pull. <sighs> what was Mama Ant going to do? But just then, they passed by a Chengal tree. <sighs> please, Mr. Chengal tree, please, can we climb up into your branches just until the water goes down? What do you think the Chengal tree said? Yes? No? Well, the Chengal tree looked down and said, Oh, yes, of course, quick, get those babies up here, quick. And so the whole ant family climbed up the trunk of the Chengal tree and down every one of its branches until the Chengal tree was covered in white, white. thought Mama Ant, safe at last. But were they safe? Were they really safe? The sun went down and the stars came out and those babies had ha not had their afternoon nap and now it was night time. 
and their eyes got heavier and heavier and Mama answered, Oh no, I've made a mistake. They will fall asleep and they will fall down and they will splash in the water and there will be no one to pick them up. Oh, what am I going to do? And she thought very hard and she thought she stared up through the leaves of the tree and she saw a single star twinkling in the night. And that gave her an idea. Family, listen. Tonight, none of us are going to go to sleep. We're going to party. We're going to sing songs. We're going to tell jokes. We're going to tell stories. And first, let's start with a song I know you all know. See that star up there twinkling away? Come on, children, all join in. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. They sang that song and all the songs they knew. They told jokes and stories all night through. And then, in the morning, the sun came up. And one little ant looked down and said, Oh! Do you know what she saw? That's right. She saw that the flood had gone away, the ground was dry again. And so, Mama Ant and her family climbed down the Chengal tree, ready to go and build a new home under the forest. But before they went, they all turned to the Chengal tree and said, Mr. Chengal tree, thank you. You saved our lives. And Mama Ant said, you didn't need to help us. We eat wood. We should be your enemy, but you saved us. Thank you. I promise you that no white ant will ever eat the wood of a Chengal tree again. And you know, Mama Ant and her family, they kept their promise. Because if you make anything out of Chengal wood, chairs, tables, cupboards, or even stilts to build houses on. They never, never get eaten by white ants.